Welcome to this demo of an exciting new feature of WebSphere MQ that enables you to connect its reliable messaging backbone into applications that use HTTP, such as Web Services and Web 2.0 applications. As the ubiquitous web transport, HTTP is in popular use today for web applications and web services. And with the advent of Web 2.0 technologies such as asynchronous JavaScript and XML or AJAX, increasingly enterprises are looking for ways to make web applications more dynamic, up-to-date, and engaging. However, it can be a real challenge to connect these applications into the core IT systems that handle the real business data that your web users are likely to want to get access to. This demo shows how easy it can be to connect these applications into your core systems using IBM WebSphere MQ and this new feature, an MQ to HTTP bridge. To illustrate our demo, consider a typical stock market company that wants to offer a new service to their dealers where they can access up-to-date stock market information using just a simple web browser, which can be run from any device that can run a web browser. This might be their own personal computer, or a portable low-memory device, or possibly from zero-footprint terminals. At the same time, they want to enable their dealers to send sale and purchase requests to traders on the market floor, all via the same web-based application. In our example, we assume that many of the applications that contain this stock market data are already integrated. In this case, using IBM WebSphere MQ as the messaging backbone to connect these applications together. Our example includes things such as stock price data, a purchase approval system, and traders on the exchange floor. While all these things are integrated with IBM WebSphere MQ, the IT department that is working on the web pages doesn't have the skills to extend the MQ backbone. Instead, their skills are limited to building new web pages using HTML. JavaScript, and also XML. This, of course, is where the new MQHTTP bridge comes in. It enables us to connect the IBM WebSphere MQ backbone to these web applications via any J2EE web server. And in the example of our demo, we'll be using IBM WebSphere Application Server Community Edition. This enables a web client to connect using HTTP into the web server and the requests that are posted are mapped to the queues and topics that exist on the IBM WebSphere MQ backbone. This means that the core back-end applications can feed stock market data onto topics residing in IBM WebSphere MQ, and these can then be accessed by these applications using plain HTTP as the transport and JavaScript AJAX as the mechanism for retrieving the data. Now, traditionally, access to WebSphere MQ would require either a WebSphere MQ server or client code. But in this case, we're offering the customers the ability to use a simple web browser enabled with JavaScript. And you can see the simple commands being used to access this topic. The topic we're using is called stocks slash start. And in this case, there are really two lines of JavaScript that enable this to happen. The creation of a new XML HTTP request, which we can see here, and opening that request with a GET request with the URI slash MSG slash topic slash stocks slash star. The MQ HTTP bridge knows how to map that incoming URL to the stocks slash star topic that exists on the WebSphere MQ backbone and thereby enables it to retrieve the messages that are required. So let's take a look at the actual application here. Here's my stock market web application. This is a standard HTML, JavaScript, and XML application, and it's using those two commands we just looked at, the XML HTTP request to extract the stock prices from that stocks slash star topic and display them once they're retrieved on this application. Notice that the stock prices are changing on the fly dynamically, and there's no need to reload or refresh the application to do that. In the background, these AJAX commands are retrieving the data and displaying it as soon as it's available. This HTTP bridge is available to download now as a support pack category two. 
That means that while it's been tested, it's available in an unsupported model. It can be obtained from the HTTP Bridge website shown here. I'd like to thank you for your time in listening to this presentation today. Thank you.